when we're doing tutorials, we always say log into your WordPress dashboard. And a lot of times people are like, well, where is that? Let me show you several different ways that you can access the back end or log into your dashboard. First method you want to do is go to your website, go up to the URL web address bar. And at the end, do a forward slash, do admin and hit enter. When you hit enter, it will take you to your login screen that you're used to. And I'll even show you how you can bypass that in just a second. So that's one, do forward slash admin. Another way that you can do it is if you want to do forward slash login, then that will redirect you to this page as well. And then ultimately, if those aren't working or if it's not working right for you, then look at adding wp-login.php. That is the ultimate login screen. Now, if you didn't install your WordPress website on the main address, so for instance, this is installed on the main address of startawpsite.com. If yours is in like a forward slash, it's what's called a subdirectory, like forward slash WordPress directory, and you installed it there, then you'll have to type in that subdirectory first and then admin or the login, and it will take you there. For some people, if you set up like a blog.yourwebsite.com, a lot of times people who have, say, an e commerce store and they set it up on a subdirectory, they set up WordPress separately on a subdirectory, and you have like that. Then you'll want to do your subdirectory, like blog dot your website and forward slash login. For most people, you're not going to be dealing with that. So I would say just for those few of you who had to set it up differently, that's how you'll find it. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll grab this login or admin and I will email that to me. So I'll know what, where it's at. If you want to do that, you can do that as well. There's a couple of ways that we can do this where you don't have to go to the login. You can click on the remember me the first time that you're logging in and WordPress will remember you for 14 days. You can also click and once you log in, you can also install something called remember me plugin and that will keep you logged in and you're never out unless you physically go up and log out. So that's a way to bypass that if you want to. But what if you don't want to send yourself an email? What if you want to have this somewhere on your site? Another way that you can do this is adding a link. We can add a link into our menu area. So if we go to appearance and we go to menus, we'll add a quick link. And instead of doing a page, we need to do a custom link. We need to do our URL and then the forward slash admin or login that we talked about. You want to give it a name. So we'll do login for this one and we'll add it to the menu. So it will come up over here on the right. And then when we save menu, we have a login here. Now, if you don't want to have that, we can remove that. And then instead I'll show you how you can add it to a widget area. So the widget area is either something on a sidebar. If you have a sidebar area, or in this case, we have a footer area down here and we can add a login there to do that. Let's go to our dashboard and we'll go over to appearance. Let's go to widgets and we'll configure the widget for that. So under widgets, we want to come down and I'm going to just click add block because I want to add a new block and we're looking for a login log out. This is the widget and it just gives me a link for login or log out and that's exactly what I want. So we'll update that and then that will be at the bottom of our footer. And it's because we're logged in that we see log out. When we log out, we'll see log in. You can also do a completely customized login page. And this is perfect if you're doing a membership site or if you just really want to customize the look and feel of your website. I did a whole tutorial on how to create a custom login page for your website. You can check out the link in the description below. Now, the next way to do it is by logging into your hosting provider. If you're pretty new to setting up your website, you have either Bluehost, you have SiteGround, Maybe you even have WP Engine and all of these allow you to get and log into your website from the hosting provider. Simply go to, for instance, we'll do Bluehost first. Go to Bluehost, log in. Once you log in, you can go to My Sites and then from here, any of the ones that you want to manage, simply click on Manage Site and log into WordPress and it will automatically log you in there as well. SiteGround has the same thing. Simply log in to SiteGround. Go to your website, go to the little login to admin panel. And when you click on that, it'll open it up for you. And if you want to create a more customized look and feel for your login page, then watch this video next and I'll see you over there.